So we're playing the Barber this week. Yeah. Which is like the most beautiful woodwind quintet, probably like the pinnacle of our repertoire. Yeah. How does it feel to be back with everybody? It feels great. I mean, after so many months of not playing with anybody other than myself and getting frustrated because of all the things I want to do that aren't quite coming through. And it's nice to hear other people and be influenced by the way that they think about things and play through things. Um, so it feels really good. And to be in a hall, um, yeah, like playing at home, my practice space is not very flattering. <laughs> um, so coming into a hall and actually like hearing like, oh, I don't sound yeah, <laughs> totally <right>. terrible. <laughs> it's really nice. It's a nice morale boost, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, um, this it, is not our first time playing the Barber. Or it, is it our first time playing the Barber? No, I think we did it um, at uh, Lenbrook, right? Right. Yeah, I think a few right. years ago. Yeah. But we weren't playing with Jacqueline, and Jacqueline's here now. Right. Which is really yeah. exciting. This is like our first get together with all the principals with Jacqueline here. Yeah. Now, so that's really cool. Yeah. I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. It's a piece that, you know, we all know it so well. Um, played it so many times, but it never gets easier. <laughs> it's like one of the most demanding. I know. There are some <laughs> spots in that piece where I'm still like subdividing like eighth notes and being like, okay. <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, it's, um, it is really, really hard, but it's, it's so rewarding. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the piece? It's kind of hard to pick just one. Um, the gorgeous oboe melody. Um, after the opening. Yeah, Barbara really had like a true talent of writing gorgeous oboe melodies. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> yeah, like if you think about like the violin concerto and the essays and the first symphony, I mean, it's like a real treasure trove. <laughs> right, yeah. So that's one of them. And then I think the section near the end um, where the, I guess it's you and Jacqueline. That's my favorite part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where like, you guys have that soaring melody and then the rest of us are kind of noodling around and it's just this big grand. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure my favorite part. I mean, the mel the oboe melody in the beginning is gorgeous, but it's pretty stressful for me. So. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> I can't really enjoy it as much as I want to. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to not like cover you up because <laughs> it's in the low range, which I mean, as a principal bassoonist, I have to have a command of the low range, but that's not where I spend most of my time. So it's soft and low, and the tendency on my instrument is to be sharp. <laughs> so oh. I'm just trying to stay under you and like not get in the way and be in tune. So it's a stressful part, but I love listening to, yeah, <laughs> to well, you Yeah, I think, I think you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that oboe French horn duet, it's like Barbara has such a... A lang like a musical language where it's like this mix of minor and major and mm -hmm. you're not quite sure if it's happy or sad and it's like this like wonderful painfully beautiful sound that I think really only Barber kind of mastered. It's very unique mm -hmm. yeah and yeah his use of tone color and the pairings of instruments that he wrote for because um, he, he worked really closely with um, I think it was Detroit that premiered it but um, the principal musicians of the Detroit Symphony. Um, but he worked with the New York Wind Quintet, um, and they like gave him feedback on what worked, what didn't. Mm -hmm. um, and so he was able to really get inside their minds of you know how they would play things and also what sounded good together. And I was just thinking about it earlier. It's really weird. You know, the bassoon and horn start the, um, the piece, um, which is generally a good combination, but we start on a tritone. But it, which oh, actually, I never realized. That. Right? It's like that should be jarring. That's like the most dissonant interval, and the way he writes it, it doesn't come off that way. And, and like he writes, um, I think slow and indolent at mm -hmm. the beginning, so just lazy and lethargic. Um, and I guess just the way that he wrote it, it doesn't come off very jarring. It's just kind of relaxed and easygoing. Yeah, I mean, I think the bassoon in the super high register like that is just has such a sweet sound, mm. so maybe he knew that, obviously, so that interval wouldn't sound so yeah. intense or something. Yeah, yeah. he's very, very skilled <laughs> to be able to pull that off. Yeah. <laughs>